Hello and welcome to Chateau Dreams. This is our family story of moving to the beautiful south of France to a partially renovated chateau during COVID lockdown with all of our animals. Now we're here, we will continue the restoration, we will go and interview people, we will see the sights, have a little bit of French culture and hopefully have some fun with some volunteers. Thanks very much for watching and if you enjoyed, please don't forget to subscribe. It is a glorious evening here this evening. Perfect day. Hello everyone, it's an absolutely gorgeous day here in the south of France. I hope you're having a glorious day wherever you are. It's 38 degrees today. It's now about 7.30 in the evening, so I thought, um, why not do a chateau tour? So I thought we would do the wing on the left-hand side of the building, which is this one just here. There you go, those are the big doors. And this is the old winery or chez. Do you remember with the buttresses on the side going down and the arrow slits on the other side? So let's go have a look and see what we can find. As you can see, this building hasn't been used for some time. It's the old winery of the chateau. And the chateau, as I think you probably remember, had AOP status, which is the highest winemaking status you can get. First of all, have a look at these massive doors here, which are absolutely enormous. Just give me two seconds. So as you can see, these doors are huge. They're very heavily studded. And I think, just to give you an idea, they are probably about four meters high. One on this side. And one on the other side. Now the winery, as you will see, hasn't been used for many years and indeed has been used as a general dumping ground and storage space, I think, for all of the generations of chateau owners recently. Actually, I'm afraid to say, including us slightly, so I do apologize, but I really want to show you it because I think it's quite an interesting place. The winery is on three floors, so there's the steps which we will go up later. And then people have stored things that they thought were going to be needed or useful here. So this is a depository of a variety of doors, some of which we've actually used, so there's fewer there than there were. Various glass panes and panels, kind of like anybody's um, garage really, I guess, although this isn't our garage. And this piece of kit here, um, useful for, it's on runners, but I think probably very useful for moving the barrels around here because barrels obviously filled with wine are incredibly heavy. When I went to see one of the Armagnac producers, uh, Chateau Gabaret, recently, she told me that they try not to move the barrels at all because they're just so heavy. They try to actually siphon out from the barrels when they're finished, which I thought was really interesting. I mean, you can imagine that, well, I'll show you some barrels in a minute. They're absolutely huge. The ceiling here, I think, is particularly lovely. Well, lovely if you're like me and you like to see old beams, particularly old beams with no termite damage. Hurrah! Termites are pretty endemic here in the, this part of the south of France, but we've been very lucky. When we bought the place, there had been evidence of termites, but actually they'd all shipped out or been treated, so that was incredibly lucky. So look, I don't know if you can see, there's various items of detritus here. Well, not detritus, because actually I think we'll probably try and upcycle some of it. Um, heavy ladder, oh gosh, which goes up to the first floor, through the gap in the ceiling. Can you see there? There we go. That's where that ladder goes. Under through. This place is absolutely filthy, as you can see, because it literally hasn't been touched. It's almost like time stopped. We've got these beds, which are really fun. There's two of those, the sides that come up. So I'm thinking we'll probably upcycle them and turn them into outdoor lounging beds. That'll be quite nice. This is a really interesting thing. This is actually an old game. So I think the idea was probably that you through your ping pong ball or your ball you tried to get it there or if you got it through the frog's mouth maybe it was a higher point here 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 or here and then you go down through the levels and somebody else could have a go hello Ming so you see the thing at the bottom I think I've seen some baguette holders I'm not sure if that might be a double baguette holder I don't know A lot of people actually ask us, is there anything in the barrels? No, there isn't in these barrels. But there are a lot of, uh, excuse me, a lot of bottles of wine. We have some Armagnac down in the cellars. 
but at some point we do need to get those looked at. We could go down to the cellar, couldn't we, and go have a look down there. Look at this one, this one's absolutely enormous. Oh look, and you can see the inside of one of the areas here. Another door. And over this side, more of the barrels. This particular door has clearly come off somewhere, but I have absolutely no idea where. Ooh! Writing on this barrel here. Something about clean it, fix it, and change the collars. I guess they must mean metal collars around the outside. Again, when I was at the ammoniac place, they said that they only keep. Um, no, I'm in there, sadly. Um, they said that they, the oak barrels, they use them, they get them from here, and they use them to impart taste and flavour into the ammoniac that they're making ammoniac. They don't actually use them for very long. This is one of the doors that goes out back onto the main courtyard. And this is an interesting piece of kit. I really do need to, we really do need to find out what all of these are for and then restore them. It'd be really nice to turn this into, obviously get it all cleaned up, get all these machines oiled and painted up. Just a sort of heritage piece for the castle, because we really don't need the space here at all. It'd be nice to bring it back to its former glory. As you guys know, I'd really like to have a small vineyard here. Do some wine making. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, somebody's left some bathroom pieces in there. <laughs> Literally haven't touched anything down here in the winery. I'm rather busy with everything else, but here we go. So I think it'll be lovely once it's all cleaned and tidied up. So these are the old wine presses. The grapes. There's one there and one there. You strap the two pieces together, as you can see. So you can see that when the wine was pressed, it actually went down onto the tiles there and then into on the floor. Can you see that circle there? So that actually drains away. It's like a soak away going to a void in the bottom, where I guess they would have collected the juice. Hello, Silver. more barrels. These almost look like they're actually in the middle of being fixed on site. I have no idea how long those would have been here. A friend of mine remarked it's almost literally here like time has stopped. Um, in this particular bit, you can see again the size of these ancient walls here. And thankfully not so. Well those ones are ancient electrics actually. Ancient electrics. And the door, these have obviously got to be fixed and replaced, one on that side. The other side door's completely gone, but we do have some hinges in the business. The doors are excellent. These doors are really interesting. They uh, have a look on them, which obviously not in use at the moment. These actually lead directly down into the cellar of the chateau. Um, you, ooh, I'm hoping there's no snakes. It is very hot. Um, if you go down here, all the way down there, right at the bottom, are some doors that lead directly into the cellar. And this black you can see, I now know, is from the evaporation of the alcohol. They must have used this piece. Yeah, definitely. Not this one. What that is. But what's lovely is all the fittings and everything are still on these doors. So. We will, I'm sure, be able to get them working again. So you can see all the old barrels in here. And with the sizes on them, 50 H, 50 hectares. The arrow slits. And detritus from various 
people who've used it as a storage area. Including, I'm afraid, ourselves. The wine storage vats. Again, 90 hectares on the left one and 88 hectares of vines. That's how much grape juice they hold. And then upstairs, as I've said before, one of the great things about here is that we're constantly finding bits that have dropped off the chateau that need to be stuck on again. So if you can't find a window, or in this case a window pane, it's disappeared from somewhere, then the likelihood is if you have a look around, you'll probably find it. You just need some reparation. Let's go up these steps to the first floor. And walk up them a little bit carefully. The stairs are actually in good working condition, it's not a problem, it's just it's very untidy in here. One of the areas we actually haven't really been able to touch at all with everything that's been going on. But uh, I'm hopeful that we can do something soon. Look at this space! Isn't it fantastic? I love it up here. Various pieces of equipment. Watch the equipment. The requisite doors that have been taken out from different places in the chateau are not back in again. Um, nasty old fire doors and some actually really rather nice looking other doors over there. Let's go. Look. Ooh, that Quite nice. A nice ones behind the horrible ones at the front. The fronts of the big arch windows here actually do have shutters and they're missing the glass, so that's something else. Another agricultural machine of some form, and yet another one here at the back. I have absolutely no idea what each of these are for, but they're very interesting. Who knows? In a lovely ceiling. Unfortunately, this roof does have a small hole in it, so that does need to be fixed, which is what's causing this hole here. It's come all the way through from the roof, right the way through. Um, and then, let's go down here. All the way down the bottom. It's actually, it's quite light up here. The, the, the windows are really quite small, but it's really nice. Um, I think it'll probably make a great space for a or a yoga studio or something like that. You could always turn it into a gallery as well up here, but I don't know whether the light would be good enough for painting. I'm not really sure. I mean, obviously you could put artificial light in, but I don't know whether that would be useful or not. Some sacks of goodness knows what. Okay, let's try and go through here without going through the floor. It's funny, whenever I come here, I'm always really struck by the enormity of everything that we've got to do. The rest of the chateau and outside of the gardens and everything all seem fairly manageable but then I come into this space and I'm just like oh my goodness what are we going to do with it how long is it going to take ah so the only thing I can really do or we can really do is think let's not worry about this today we know it's okay we know there's like a hole in the roof which isn't a disaster but does need dealing with um and you know that that's really all we can do and then think about it later and think about what we're going to do with the space with the space later because the thing is otherwise this place would be just hugely overwhelming you thought about it all at once. I tell myself. So this is the, the majority of the first floor of the Shea or the winery. Here, it's a massive space. Very good height in the ceilings. But actually, do you remember in the video where we had the lost room? The lost room is actually not through this wall here. There is a room through this wall, which I haven't shown you. But upstairs on the floor above through that wall. That is where the room hadn't been open for 100 years. So bearing in mind that hadn't been open for 100 years, I don't think anybody's been in here. Probably for the same. Um, it is really like time has stopped here. As you can see, we need to put new glass into all of these window holes. And... This big hole here, there's a massive staircase, the one I showed you downstairs, the huge ladder that used to go in there. Ah, oh, wow, you can see the hole. There we go. 
There we are. There is the hole in the ceiling I told you about. Can you see? That is actually daylight. Just like that. Aha! Now, do you remember what I was telling you about how here, if you're looking for something, invariably it turns up with pink lights? Well, you and I have just been talking, haven't we, about the fact that the windows on the other side need glass in them. And here is a load of pain glass. I think I'd also seen some some downstairs somewhere. So maybe this is, I mean, I don't know if you cut this out. Oh, yeah, it's definitely glass. Hmm. No idea. So, up to the next floor. Here we go. So the barn on the other side, or rather not the barn on the other side, the, the uh, wing on the other side is the same, but that one actually has bedrooms and things in it as well, and the garages and storerooms and so on and so forth. So there we go. This is this room. I'm not going to go up here. But can you see? It's basically the attic, but it's huge in terms of its standing height. So it's a lot taller than me. So it's going to be 12 foot high, the ceiling, and at the smallest point there, it's 5 foot no, it's actually five and a half foot high. So again, a really usable space. If someone had need of the space, which frankly we don't. More agricultural equipment there. But there we are. So I try not to think about the winery too much because it actually scares me a little bit with the enormity of everything that needs to be done. <laughs> there we are. Also, it's quite dirty. This is going down the circuit. Let's go down. Feels a bit safe again. Don't mind coming out actually. There we go. And there's this massive door again. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that whistle stop tour of the winery. Obviously, it is not the cleanest part of the castle because it literally hasn't been touched for such a long time, apart from to be used as a place, I think, to store things. But um, I hope you found it interesting. And another time, we'll go and have a look at the cellars and you can see those and uh, the wine that's still in there. Thanks very much for watching. From all of us here down at Chateau Bataille, we're hoping you're having a wonderful evening, wherever you are. What to cook for dinner? I have no idea. Mm -hmm.